Hey everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special Zella build that I've been cooking up for a minute. I wanted to find a way to play more aggressively while keeping an eye out for my team. And since I haven't done a stealth build in quite a while, I thought about combining some of my other builds into this one. So without further ado, let's talk about our loadout first. To start our build off, we're going to be using the Mark III Combat Knife. It has insane mobility when you chain your heavies together, and the speed of your light attack moveset is incredibly fast. Mobility on this weapon is going to be our dump stat, as you will want every other stat to be much higher. However, try to at least get mobility to be above 50 if you can. The ideal perks that we want to go with on this are going to be melee crit chance and damage to unyielding enemies for massive damage to monstrosities. As for my blessings, I went with Uncanny Strike to apply rending on enemy weak spot hits. And in addition to that, I went with Mercy Killer for the weak spot damage anytime we apply our bleed to our target. If you don't want to worry about the proc for bleed since it will only happen on hitting a crit, we can also go with Repost instead of Mercy Killer. I just found Mercy Killer to work better for me, but try either out and see which works better for you. The Blessing on Candy Strike also applies to my throwing knives. This means they can actually apply running as well, so use that to your advantage to output damage at a distance. As for my secondary, I wanted to reuse my original Shredder Auto Pistol. It has damage to Maniacs and Flak Armored enemies. As for my Blessings, I went with Blaze Away for the power climb that we get whenever we spray, and since this weapon has a nice chance to stagger, I'm using Pinning Fire as my second Blessing. This will allow more power to cycle through for more damage. As for my Curios, I wanted a nice balance for my health and toughness, since survivability is going to be my only struggle. I wanted to even it out by having two max health Curios and a toughness Curios, with all of my Curios giving me boost to toughness as well. The rest of the perks can be chosen by you, however, if I can recommend anything, I would suggest damage resistance from Gunners and Snipers, since they're the only two enemy variants that you'll come into contact with that will actually halt your progression. I'll take a second here to show off the talent tree, but before we explain why each passive here is useful, I want to emphasize that this build is picked for optimization for obtaining crits, as well as using your abilities to help the team in clearing out any bigger threats. You won't have much survivability if things go wrong here, and the biggest factor that you'll constantly run into is your positioning. Make sure you look around before you just run out into the open. Look for cover, look for other threats, and make a quick game plan. Alright, let's talk about the talents. We can start with our main ability, Shroud Field. This ability is amazing. We go into stealth dropping aggro on any mobs focusing us and instantly gain 20% movement speed and 100% backstab damage, finesse damage, and crit chance. This should be used whenever we can, target anything pushing their focus on our allies, and rush to them with the intention to kill. To assist us in surviving, I wanted to use the ability modifier Invigorating Revelation. This will replenish 40% of our toughness when we leave stealth, and we also gain some damage reduction for a few seconds, allowing us to get out of dodge before they even know what hit them. To optimize our stealth capabilities, I grab Mastercrafted Shroud Field for the 3 second increase to our main ability. This gives us enough time to plan out an attack or rescue a teammate. And for our last modifier here, I went with Pious Cutthroat. With this modifier, we can recycle 20% of our cooldown whenever we get a backstab kill. This won't be difficult at all since we're going to be pushing behind enemy lines constantly and dodging around them whenever we can engage. For any stealth hits we make, we want to chain a heavy hit, but for crowd control, you want to spam light chain attacks while dodging. Getting your blessings to pop is super important for maintaining your damage output, so keep that in mind. Speaking of blessings, remember that Uncanny Strike also gets applied to our Blades of Faith. This can apply running on each hit on a weak spot hit, so aim for headshots whenever you can, as it can even kill in one knife. Replenishing knives will also be very easy with this build, since any elites or specials will just recycle them back to us. For my aura, since this build puts us on our own for a majority of the time, I went with Loner. This will grant us an extra count of coherency, and it will allow our toughness to regen a little bit faster. And before anyone says anything, you can use Loner to not be a tool and leave your team behind. Use it wisely and in your favor. Obviously sharing coherency is important too, but using Loner to escape massive encounters with your health still intact is also important. One thing I will say is go an appropriate distance away. If you spawn stuff or things start pushing in, let them pass you and stab them in the back, or run back to your squad and help them. A fast way to find yourself back at the Morningstar is to run ahead and spawn everything for your other three teammates to deal with. Don't be that guy, otherwise you might just get the boot. As for my keystone, I wanted something that will keep my survivability up, so I chose an Exorable Judgment. This will stack up to 20 times, granting me 1% attack speed for my melee and ranged weapons, as well as increase my damage by 1% per stack. To make sure I can keep my stacks up, I have an Ebrius Poise, which grants me 3 stacks of momentum on any successful dodge. This helps a lot in times of need, since I also went with Retributor Stance, which will replenish 2% of my toughness for each spent stack of momentum. You should always be moving with this build since building stacks will come very fast with our mobility. Use this to your advantage and target anything if you've been hit. Regaining toughness should be incredibly easy and fast. To make sure we maximize our flow of combat, I want an ambuscade to give myself the 20% damage to any ranged backstab attacks. By the way, don't be led astray by the wording of this. This just means any backstab that you can do with your melee within the cone of vision on the backside of an enemy. 
When something says ranged, it really just means within the limits of not actual range, unless specified. Noyan Blood gives us the 25% additional damage for any base ranged damage. Shooting anything up close with my shredder will decimate any enemy in my way. Backstabber is pretty self-explanatory, but the 20% damage increase will allow for massive crit damage to be applied with a heavy hit while in stealth. Dance of Death can be pretty useful whenever we get overwhelmed by Ragers. Just dodge an attack and enjoy the low spread and recoil with your Shredder. I chose Duelist for the 50% weak spot and crit hit damage whenever we dodge. Getting this to proc alongside with our blessings should be very easy, and the best part is that it will output a ton of damage whenever we land a crit. Since my crit chance has a decent value, I wanted to focus on maintaining my survivability passively. Enduring Faith keeps that in check. With the 50% damage reduction every time we hit a crit, we can focus on staying alive while moving in on the bigger targets. On top of that, with good balance, we can actually get an additional 25% damage reduction whenever we make a successful dodge. Since mobility and high aggression are our main strong points with this build, I wanted to make sure we can endure some of the most aggressive enemies too. Purge the Unclean is always a solid choice for the 20% damage increase to infested and unyielding enemies. And Scourge is an awesome passive that applies damage over time. Every time we connect a crit, we apply a stack of bleed to our target, and this mixed with Mercy Killer can do some devastating damage. On top of just the base hit though, if they're bleeding, we can get an additional 10% crit chance for 3 seconds, and it could stack up to 3 times, so chain light attacks as often as you can. Sustained Assault can grant us up to 20% more damage as long as we're continuously hitting the enemy. This is extremely useful with the speed of attacks we can actually deliver with the combat blade, and it's easy to keep refreshed and well worth the point. Swift so Certainty is by far one of my favorite talent points on this build, mostly because it makes me feel like I'm a god. As long as you're sprinting, every attack will count as a dodge, even if you have no stamina left. This passive will also increase your sprint speed, so it may take some time to get used to, but you'll be moving incredibly fast. Thy Wrath Be Swift is there for whenever we actually get hit by an enemy. We gain 15% movement speed briefly, but we can no longer be stunned by any other melee attacks. Both of these passives allow us to dodge effectively while also giving us more than just a simple movement buff. And lastly, our ace up our sleeve if anything goes wrong. Until death is going to be our last resort pick. This is for whenever things go really bad and we need to make a judgment call. Ideally if this pops, you're probably in big trouble, but you need to make a quick decision to either look for health or rush to your allies immediately. This shouldn't pop easily with this build, but I like to have this for those emergency moments. For my operative modifiers, I took lots of boosts in our melee damage, toughness, and toughness damage reduction, as well as some small boosts in movement speed and stamina. Overall, this build has become a really enjoyable one to run with a team that understands that you're there to mitigate any trouble before it gets to them. I've already been thanked a bunch for helping out with revives, team clutches, and even boss kills. Like I said before though, play with your team and look ahead for threats. You're an infiltrator. Be stealthy, flank, and get out of there before they even know what hits them. If you're looking for a build that will keep you actively feeling like your blood is pumping through every vein in your body, then try this one out. If you aren't used to stealth in this game, try it out on any Malice mission and try to get used to the speed and intensity that you need to bring. But once you find that sweet spot, it's going to be really hard to shake. Anyways, I'm going to go get started on working on another build for you all, so stay tuned for more. But in case you forgot, my name is Zen, and I hope to talk to you again real soon. Enjoy the rest of the match.
the group gone. Shadows, retribution.
God Emperor, hide my step. Emperor's grace. 